How these fuel kits take the guesswork out of choosing a fuel system. Every component you need to build your fuel system is in the box. Mine is the fuel pressure regulator, which we recommend part number 12-886. Proper pump mounting, return line setup, and return tube installation is essential. Today we'll dive into installing Holly's master fuel kits and share some tips and tricks that'll make all the difference. Don't let a poorly installed fuel system hold you back. Do it right the first time. Holly offers two fuel system kits. A 40-foot kit, which includes enough fuel line for both supply and return lines. Ideal if you're starting from scratch. A 20-foot kit that's suitable if you already have a return line and just need to replace or upgrade the supply line. Holly's fuel kits simplify fuel system installation and ensure your Sniper EFI system gets the fuel it needs for optimal performance. Choose the kit that best fits your needs based on your existing fuel line setup. It's important to note that the Sniper EFI system requires high pressure fuel line. Do not attempt to use low pressure fuel hose. If you're unsure about your setup, consider the 40 foot kit to guarantee you have enough hose for a proper installation. The Holly Sniper 2 requires an external fuel pressure regulator. We recommend Holly's fuel pressure regulator, part number 12-886, which features 3 8 of an inch inlet and outlet, which is perfect for the Sniper EFI system. The bypass style fuel pressure regulator necessitates running a return line from the regulator back to the tank. If your vehicle currently has a low pressure fuel pump and fuel line, you might be able to repurpose it for the return line. But if it's seen the light of day, now is the time to replace it. Starting with the fuel line, the supply and return line sizes are important to note. They should match the fuel line size to the flow rate of your fuel pump so as not to restrict flow. A good rule of thumb is to match the fuel line size to the outlet size of your fuel pump. In our example, the 3 8 fuel line matches the outlet size of our external pump. This ensures proper flow rate. Fuel pressure should never dip below 58 PSI and your return line pressure should be ideally zero. If your return line has pressure, it indicates a restriction in the line. This issue must be identified and corrected to ensure proper fuel system operation. The master kit includes an OEM grade inline fuel pump that has a 255 liter per hour flow rate designed to ensure long-term reliability. The fuel pump should be mounted within 12 to 18 inches of the tank outlet, ideally as close as possible and positioned at or below the tank's bottom level to ensure a gravity-fed setup for proper operation. It also needs to have a pre and post filter. Failure to follow some of these guidelines can cause premature wear and shortened life. If mounting the fuel pump below the tank isn't feasible, mount it as low as possible and perform a gravity feed test to verify functionality. This test will help determine if the pump can operate in the given configuration. Keep in mind that EFI pumps are designed to push fuel, not pull it. Not providing a proper gravity feed to an EFI pump can make it work harder, potentially leading to premature wear and failure. A quick and easy test to make sure you got a good gravity feed is to quickly disconnect the fuel line inlet to the pump once the fuel system has been primed. The pump inlet hose should drain all the fuel from your tank. If the flow is obstructed or simply stops, you don't have a good gravity feed. This puts extra strain on the pump and potentially void its warranty. There are plenty of other options if you find your external fuel pump conditions unfavorable. Holly has OE style drop-in in-tank retrofit and fuel cell EFI fuel pump modules available to fit any style of fuel tank. Both external and in-tank fuel pumps are proven performers with each having their own advantages. It's best to use the solution that best fits your application. The included external pump is easy to install and service, making maintenance a breeze should it be needed. Just be sure to mount the fuel pump and filters as low as possible. When setting up your fuel system, be sure to install the pre and post filters to keep your fuel clean. For connections, use the included EFI rated hose clamps, which are specifically designed for fuel injection systems and provide a secure seal. Avoid worm drive clamps as they might not hold up to the system's increased pressure and flow rates. 
When installing fuel lines, it's crucial that you take into account any high heat areas and steer clear of any moving parts that could potentially damage the lines. Be careful not to pinch the line during installation as this could lead to serious issues. Additionally, keep 90 degree fittings at a minimum between tank and pump. These can restrict the feed and result in problems down the line. After routing the fuel lines, use the dowel clamps to securely fasten them in place. This prevents movement or damage that could lead to leaks or other issues. If your stock tank doesn't have a dedicated return line inlet, a simple solution is to utilize the factory sending unit to add the bulkhead connector and return tube. Since the factory sending units are easily removable, and provided you have enough space, you can easily install an additional line for the return, making the installation process more straightforward. No need to take the tank down or go through the hassle of drilling a hole through it. Our fuel system kit includes everything you need to install the return line, including the bulkhead connector. When installing the fuel return tube, make sure to place the end below the fuel level about a half inch to one inch from the tank's bottom and position it away from the fuel pickup. Do not free dump it into the tank as it'll aerate the fuel, which can cause cavitation and drivability issues. It's worth mentioning that if you don't have the room or want to run a return line all the way back to the tank, Holly has a great filter regulator combo that will drastically reduce your return line with a replaceable filter element and a fuel pressure regulator built in. Holly EFI's filter regulator combo makes your return line way much shorter, minimizing fuel line plumbing. There's no need to mount a regulator in your engine bay. Another option is this compact return style fuel pressure regulator that's designed to be mounted inline on the throttle body. Any one of these options will simplify your fuel system installation. By following these best practices, you'll ensure a well-functioning fuel system that'll satisfy your engine's needs. Don't let a poorly installed fuel system set you back. Get it right and be unstoppable. For expert tips and tricks and advice on high-performance fuel systems, visit us at holly.com.